Here's our Wilcox crossover propane body. As you can see on the one side, it's uh, open racking. Uh, there's compartments underneath. I have a rear lift gate. And on the opposite side, um, mechanics body. Got a rear crane compartment. So if you're looking over here, it looks like a truck body. On the other side, it looks like a propane body. So, I'm do a, a quick little walk around here. I'll start on the other side. So on the inside here, um, actually we'll go, yeah, inside. This one has a, uh, a non-slip floor. Uh, E-track around the front headboard and the sides that'll mount the uh, the tire. That's where they will keep their spare tire as a uh, holder. 6,000 pound tie downs. We have two compartments here with uh, cam locks. What these are for um, are for carrying patio stones. So this is just a single panel, reinforced door, cam lock, door chain on it. So this is reinforced underneath, uh, strong enough to carry patio stones or other heavy material. Lockable with the cam lock system. And challenging. Put a padlock through. Whatever's in there is now secure. This is the same at the back. So another unit. Again, reinforced for that extra weight. LED lighting as our standard. Uh, this one has outriggers due to the crane. So this one is uh, manual outriggers. This one over here is a uh, just a drop down. This one does not extend out. So crank it, it's gonna drop down. This one here extends out. I can tell by this pin here, pull pin. This will extend out as a leg, crank and drop down. Rear built-in 16,000 pound trailer hitch. Stainless steel grab a handle at the back. Placards, flip style. So depending on what's being carried, you can just flip them over. Their standard compartment on the other side and a crane. So this is our crane compartment. Um, so I didn't mention on the other side. So this is a, uh, a steel body. So there was a couple things that I could see. The fact that this was uh, the checker plate was bolted on at the back. The interiors are painted, which signifies it is a steel body. Crane compartment, crane top. Gas shocks, standard galvanized shelving, removable dividers. We have a tank down there. Doors are still aluminum, standard always aluminum doors, three point lock. So, riveted on. Compression locks. That third, the three points are pulling in these corners now, uh, I mentioned before with the thickness of the door is not gonna allow it to bend out, but with the three point, it is gonna pull that in. Door chains, standard shelving. Um, this is our standard adjustable shelving dropping down in the slots with the stainless steel pins underneath. There is rubber um, bumpers on that door. So the fact that if, in case the we do open it up again with the door chains, easily 
take this off. This door can fold right down, so the bumpers are there in case they do fold it down. Um, that is not getting the side. Standard wheel flare that you'll find on all of our Wilcox bodies. Uh, we'll get back to the wheel panel and to some adjustable shelving, gas shock. Adjustable shelving. So pretty basic shelving in here. Uh, one of the things that you'll see is, so in here, um, this bracket here is actually our guide for our three-point lock. So this rod is going up. You'll see sometimes um, companies will bend this rod out, which is not gonna give the the strength or you're going to be rubbing right against your weather stripping which eventually we're, it's going to wear that out so our bracket is a guide it's going to guide it and pull it in um you can see i don't have to like use my other hand to push that into the top to get it in it's just guiding it in by itself and front checker plate rock guards and standard the flare on the front of the rock guards always sticking out deflecting the rain and the wind and slush and whatever else is road debris is going to be hitting the side of the truck again with steel these are riveted on and not um welded which would be on aluminum body and this is reinforced uh cab guard headboard the uh wheel panel i believe i i talked about this before so wilcox uh, makes all of our our wheel panels uh for the history of what we've done is removable um, when you get into a system that is just one piece and they cut it out and that's your wheel panel if you ever blow a tire if you ever damage anything you have to cut this out you have to get it repaired um, if something does happen easily we can just send you a new piece this is just bolted into place underneath it can be easily uh, shipped out uh, and bolted back on and it does give mechanics if there is any work underneath you can actually just take off this panel and it gives you the wide open area. So it's a nice feature um, as we've progressed and developed our truck bodies. That's a, a piece that we've improved it, but a piece that we've kept just um, our users really like it. You have a plate when we have uh, for our boom rests on all of our crane bodies that um, distributes the weight. It's a crane tower in here, one inch plate. Um, LED micro lighting, trailer plugs. So these, as all of our other bodies, available for install, available for ship out. Uh, this one has a, uh, sorry, miss this, a uh, shovel um, broom rake holder up here, just a bolt-on system. And you have the plot cards. So again, this uh, unit can be installed, shipped out. Um, it's our standard. Uh, this is our standard model, can be customized um, for different, I guess, uh, functions. But this is our Wilcox from Peabody.